Hello everyone, um, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about something a little bit more serious. Um, I'd like to talk to you guys about what's happening overseas, specifically with um, Israel and various things that are going on. Blinken just spoke to the United Nations. A leaked document just came out from the Custom and Border Patrol talking about various illegals that are here, possible consequences, and various things that have just happened over the past week and a half. This has been on Chris and I's hearts and minds you don't really know how to speak about it sometimes. We don't know if we have all the facts. However, I will tell you some things that I do see that is factual, and let's see if we can piece some of this together. Um, so anyway, welcome back to the channel, Financial Prepper, Chris and Stacy, and I'm Stacy. So I wanna start right now with what's at the UN. Blinken just visited the UN, and he made a speech. And you guys, I've been watching this, waiting to hear what he would say, because I think this is so important. The UN is pivotal in deciding some of our role and what is going on overseas. And I want to read some of the comments and quotes. These are quotes, not my opinion. This is what has been stated. I'm going to start with Blinken first. He stated, quote, he said, the United States does not seek conflict with Iran. We do not want this war to widen. But if Iran or its proxies attack U.S. personnel anywhere, make no mistake, we will defend our people. We will defend our security swiftly and decisively. And that's what he told the UN Security Council just a few minutes ago. And then also on top of that, now they've come out and they said China, one of the diplomats, one of the top diplomats, is going to be visiting Thursday in Washington, D.C. to help address this, where they're saying that they want to work on to prevent the conflict in the Middle East from spreading. Because you get, just like you have in Ukraine, you guys, right now, you have certain countries that are starting to take sides. And this could escalate really fast. I'll be honest, I did not see this coming. I've seen the Russia-Ukraine thing coming. I see China and Taiwan, Taiwan as just like a, just ready to explode. But this one did take me by surprise. I did not see this what's going on in Israel right now. But interestingly enough, Turkish president has come out and he says that the UN Council is actually deepening the crisis in Gaza by bowing to the Israeli regime. So there you guys go. We have different countries that are taking sides. How will this turn out? I don't know. I'm watching to see what countries step up. Poor Blinken, whether you like him or not, this guy was supposed to go on a two-day trip, and it has turned into a six-day trip, various countries, and, well, I just say that we say prayers for him. So many things have been happening, and I want to get into the leak right now in just a minute with the Customs and Border that they've come out about what's happening also. Before we go there, though, I want to talk about some of the things that have been happening lately. And it's just like one little news, one little thing that happens, and then it just kind of disappears. Right lately, you guys, they have had come out and they have, uh, the Hamas has said two days, two days in a row, or two, two separate Fridays, I believe it was, and they wanted, quote, days of rage. And if you guys look at all the protests that have been going globally, this isn't just the United States. Globally, all the protests that have been going on for, against, whatever, and by the way, I won't know hate comments, in the comments below or I will delete you and remove you from the channel. That's not what this channel is about. This channel is hopefully about looking at the bigger picture, finding solutions, preparing, and just see what's coming down the road. And that's what we're trying to do. So we're trying to piece together the pieces. So that's what he was, he was supposed to do a two day trip, turned into six days, and now he's ended up at the United Nations and made a speech today. And he has actually come out and said, he said, they, we do not want war. He said, and I'll quote what he said, he said, the U.S. risks being drawn into a Middle East war, but it does not want to fight. It does not want to fight the war it does not want to fight. You guys, I don't think anybody really wants to go to war. When you look at the price of war, if you look at history, it's not pretty. And we've been blessed as Americans and never had to fight it on our soil. But a lot of lives are lost. And my heart goes out to the, the private citizens, innocent victims right now that have suffered of what's happening right now. So I just talked about it, how they've come out twice now and they wanted a day of rage all the protests that are happening, a lot on college campuses. You see what's going on in various cities, various countries or whatever, and it seems to be escalating. Police presence are involved and different things like that. So that's one of the things that, that's happening as a consequence because of some of this. Also, more drones are targeting U.S. forces in the Middle East. And you guys, you're seeing this happen. That's going to affect our, our, our military. That means lives could possibly be lost. And I was talking to some people the other day. I said, do you know people that are being deployed? And personally, we do. We pray for them. We keep them in our thoughts when we just, you know, hope that everything 
goes well. You not only that, but you got you guys. This was the other day. This isn't just today. This is about a week or so ago, but it was a U.S. Navy warships. You guys know we deployed two with all the carriers and all that kind of stuff, and they have been intercepting multiple missiles. They said that were headed toward Israel. So once again, you guys, it's another piece. When you just kind of step back and you look at the big picture and you're like, what does this mean for America? What does this mean for you, the United States? How are, are we going to be drawn into this? Can it be stopped? And so now I want to go on, I mean, something to think about. And when you're thinking about this, I was, I read the other day that I forget four countries actually require their citizens to have bunkers, require them. They live with that kind of mentality. We're very blessed and I don't. I also was talking, uh, listened to an interview of a guy, um, the Canadian prepper actually did an interview with a guy who actually sells bunkers. He said in the last year, his sales have gone through the roof. People are worried. People are scared. Chris and I, we've talked about this. And because we don't live very far from a military base. Um, and so you have to think about these kind of things. You can only prep and store up so much if something like this were to happen. We also have the State Department issue a worldwide caution alert to Americans overseas. You guys, they didn't just say certain countries, be careful. You know, every once in a while they'll put out a travel saying, hey, be careful going to this particular country. No, they put it out worldwide and they're telling everybody to be cautious. Pay attention to your surroundings. See what's going on. And on the heels of that, you guys, we have a leaked document and this just came out also from, it's leaked from the Customs and Border Protection documents. And I was listening to some interviews about it. Basically, they are stating, they're warning their own people, looks, sounds like, from what I can read in the document, they're warning their own people with Border Patrol that, hey, you guys, we have a lot of illegals from certain countries, and they quote, they said, special interest aliens are defined as people from foreign countries that have conditions that promote or protect terrorism and that may pose a threat to the U.S. US national security. What happened back in 9-11, you guys? We had sleeper cells. I worked for the government, one of those three name, uh, letter names agency. I worked there. I remember some of us were so shocked, but there were signs that we missed. What are we missing now? What are we not seeing? So here's some stats from October 2021 to October 2023. Border agents have apprehended. This is you guys from different countries that have, are of concern. 6,386 nationals from Afghanistan, 3,153 from Egypt, 659 from Iran, 538 from Syria. This is from the leaked data shows, and it goes on and on. You've got Turkey. I mean, Turkey was like 30,000, I think. You've got Pakistan, Lebanon, Jordan, Iraq. It goes on and on. They're documenting this, and these are just the people that we know of. Chris and I, we've done videos on this before about where people come across the border and we don't even know why they're here, where they're from sometimes because they just state a certain state, can't document them. And I think this is a concern. And I think it's something we need to be paying attention to as U.S. citizens. You guys, look what's happening overseas. Some of these people were caught completely unaware. Don't be that person. Go get you some seeds and seed dispensers. It might not be the perfect answer, but at least you've got a wall of defense, get a little extra food, get a little extra cash on hand, be prepared. I pray for these people, I really do. My heart goes out to them. I pray for Blinken. I don't know if he's a good person or not, but he's in a situation right now that he's having to address a lot of these issues. So today, sorry you guys, this one's a little bit more serious. Um, we wanna be prepared. We want to do the best that we can. We wanna pay attention to this. We want to not just ignore some of this stuff that comes across the news. I want to take it seriously, but I also still want to live. Um, like they said, you know, you don't want to live in fear. But anyway, so that's it for you guys today. Um, I hope that you guys give me your feedback. I would like to know what you think about this and what we're seeing and what you guys are seeing and what you think about all this information that you kind of compile it together and see the bigger picture and see where we're going from here. So. Here's to you guys. Have an awesome, awesome day, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.